I have in my possession a secret map by the planners of the new world order. Because the global order is changing again. A new world order. After more than a year of threatening to do so, the United States has withdrawn from the United Nations Human Rights Council, which Mike Pompeo said had become an obstacle to progress and an impediment to change, this being a continuation of the breaking of the great horn of the he-goat written of in Daniel chapter 8, verse 8, which is also the destruction of the one who sends a razor of taxes in Daniel chapter 11, verse 20, in my opinion, the razor of taxes being the global carbon tax, the one who sent the razor of taxes being the United Nations. The great horn of the he-goat, the he-goat being the shadow government of the Kenites. Horns symbolize power. And once this great horn is broken, as you can see in Daniel chapter 8, verse 8, for it came up four notable ones toward the four winds of heaven. Those are the four beasts written of in Daniel chapter 7, the new world order as they call it. That won't come into being until the woe of the fifth trumpet when Satan and his angels, Daniel's fourth beast, are cast from heaven to earth. The plan to upgrade the UN structures, not the UN itself, but the skeletal structure of the United Nations was outlined over 20 years ago on the last page of the Grand Chessboard by the late Zbigniew Brzezinski. And remember the article last month on New Eastern Outlook, Brzezinski's ghost shapes Washington Eurasia geopolitics. If you go to mark13records.com slash news, we've marked each progression in the gradual breaking of the great horn of the he-goat as best we could. The Trump doctrine is an America first new world order, just like the plan outlined on the last page of the grand chessboard. An attack on Syria would be an attack on the entire UN system, that article having to do with Trump's second bombing of Syria. Going all the way back to December, the US announced a $285 million cut to the United Nations. Then going back to October of last year, Kenite occupied Israel and the United States withdrew from UNESCO, another UN agency, and since then, as you know, Trump has not only declared Jerusalem to be the capital of Kenite-occupied Israel, but also last month moved the U.S. Embassy there, Jerusalem being where Satan will appear at the sixth seal, the sixth trumpet, and the sixth vial. So this sets the stage for the five-month-long hour of temptation. It begins when the New World Order finally emerges at the woe of the fifth trumpet, then it receives a deadly wound, and then Satan appears as Antichrist in Jerusalem at the woe of the sixth trumpet. The true Christ doesn't return until the woe of the seventh trumpet. Understand the three woe trumpets and you shouldn't have any trouble understanding the hour of temptation. It was seven years, but as promised by Christ in Mark 13 and Matthew 24, those days have been shortened. The days he's speaking of there are the seven days of Daniel's 70th week, those days being symbolic of years. It was seven years, but it's been shortened to five months. And remember what Christ said just before, he promised that the days would be shortened when ye shall see the abomination abomination of desolation, the desolator spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing where it ought not, this should say standing where he ought not, the desolator being Satan in his role of Antichrist, let him that readeth understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee to the mountains, leaving no shadow of a doubt where this is speaking of. Jerusalem, then in verse 20 of Mark 13, he says, and except that the Lord has shortened those days, these seven days of Daniel's 70th week, which are really years, no flesh should be saved, but for the elect's sake, whom he hath chosen, he hath shortened the days. So again, last October, both Kenite occupied Israel, where Jerusalem is, and the United States withdrew from UNESCO, another UN agency. And it was also in October that Henry Kissinger, author of the book World Order, while in the Oval Office, seated next to Trump, said he was there at a moment when the opportunity to build a constructive, peaceful world order is very great. In page 231, one of Kissinger's World Order book outlines the strategy to merge the United States and China geopolitically through North Korea. As Brzezinski said just before his death last year, if China and the United States cooperate, Russia will have no choice but to join, setting the stage for the new world order to emerge at the woe of the fifth trumpet, which will not happen until the completion of the breaking of the great horn of the he-goat, the United Nations, that is to say. The woe of the fifth trumpet being when Satan and his 
his angels, Daniel's fourth beast, the supernatural, are cast to Earth, the so-called New World Order not emerging until then, and the deadly wound to the New World Order then transpires, and then, at the woe of the sixth trumpet, Satan appears as Antichrist, the desolator Christ speaks of in Mark 13 and Matthew 24. Let him that readeth understand that that's when Satan appears as the false Christ, and it goes from being a one-world political system to a one-world religious system, and that's when the mark of the beast in their forehead or in their right hand comes into it. The deception that Christ has returned, in their right hand being a figure of speech, meaning the work they'll do for Satan, thinking he's Jesus. Immediately after the five-month-long hour of temptation, the true Christ returns at the woe of the seventh trumpet, and as the true Christ says in the last verse of Mark chapter 13, these are the words of Jesus Christ to you, what I say unto you, I say unto all. Watch. Let me warn you. A new world order. 